If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a uh, few different reviews to do. There might be an evolution that I have to check out afterwards as well, but for now, uh, we got the we got the footies Luka Modric who has received meta play styles. Finally, like they're actually starting to release this because for two or three weeks, we got to be honest, they release like a few good cards, maybe. But hopefully for footies that changes and they actually start releasing meta cards because Listen, we're in the last month and a half, two months of the game. It's kind of necessary, right? So four very good play style pluses. So big W there. Passes should be very nice on this card. Intercept plus, very key play style to work with in the midfield position or cam position. If he's formatted for that, you can use him as a cam too. Okay, cool. So this is um, a midfielder that you keep on a shadow, a midfielder that you keep on a hunter, depending on how you use him in game right because a hunter will give him the finishing boost more so if you use them i would say like in the actual cam position because um if people play like a 4-2-3-1 he actually could play in that area there's a lot of formations where using a player like this in the cam spot that can attack and defend is very nice so that's definitely really cool but yeah attacking attacking center mid 4-3-2-1 that's gonna be like the meta that most people are gonna go for for sure but listen even on a stay back he has that intercept plus um and the Anticipate, which is really, really nice, right? Um, yeah, passing, obviously, fantastic area. Dribbling, uh, listen, I expect it to be good in-game, regardless of the fact that he doesn't have Trickster Plus or Press Proven, because how tall he is at five foot eight, the dribbling stats as a midfielder, that's going to be perfectly fine. And then for physical, he only lacks in the strength, but he's pretty good at everything else. So, yeah, no, it definitely looks like... Um, it definitely looks like an interesting card. Uh, I would say... If we're trying him out as the attacking center mid, a hunter might not be bad, a shadow too. A shadow could be okay, so you can test out what the shooting is like without giving the actual finishing boost, but it really, really depends on what you do in game, right? Because how you line him up is gonna depend on the chemistry style, right? Because the thing is, is that the, the key one that he already has, which is the interceptions, he has, right? If he's the attacking center mid, especially, because when you have interceptions and you have intercept plus, pretty big deal but yeah we'll just be mostly using him in that midfield position to test him out on the attack as well as the defense we will see how this card performs in game hopefully he is a beast the passing stuff with Modric is probably gonna be like super helpful honestly as the attacking center mid I'm trying out a 4-3-3 right now like a false nine Oh, it's those moments right there you're going to have to look out for, you know? Oh, oh dude, with Modric, imagine? <laughs> Got to be able to react quickly in those situations, especially if the gameplay is not up to par. The constant adapting that he's doing right now is already amazing. I could already see it on a consistent basis. Ooh, penalty maybe? Ooh, sometimes those animations give you the penalty. Stuff like that, bro. Small movement, small uh, moments like that make a difference. Little intricacies to make a pass afterwards. Like that's why I didn't really care about having specific play styles for him on the dribbling because I know he's gonna be able to compensate anyways. See that movement to pass out of play there? It's crazy. Need stuff like that. Oh, close. I'm 
Beautiful goal. Beautiful, beautiful goal. Good football. Oh, look at that movement, bro. That's amazing. Nice little angled run there. I like that. Yeah, quick on the dribble regardless. Small moments like that, bro. Being able to make that pass there to get that first time touch, that's amazing. Oh, I got him there in the shot cancel too. That's unlucky. Got to do some disguised runs over there so I can create the space here. Eh, maybe more power behind that. Maybe. Oh, I don't get that from the second man press. No way. Oh, and the, the angle's a little bit too high for that shot to really come off. Oh, no way, man. Beauty. Beauty, that's a great football goal. Got the five-star weak foot to be able to score that too. I like it. I like it. Very nice. Got that interception. Oh, man. Dude, I love the way that he commits on the attack. It's actually so much fun. Ooh, you use the, you, you use the AI there, bro. You use that. Oh, my boy Modric cooks over there. Give me that interception. Little ball roll driven pass. Typical meta. I don't know why I did the ball roll on that time. I was like, I was thinking too much for the review. <laughs> I don't know why I did it there. Oh, we tried the finesse. Why not? Yes. A little technical to get out of the space there. There we go. Oh, that's the wind up there. Unlucky. Unlucky. Give me that. Intercept plus is my life. I still shrugs him off. The way that he gets involved when you let him do his thing is so sick. In the center mid-roll especially, it's so nice. Nice. 
Nice, nice, nice. When you get too close, you gotta do that shot cancel, man. And hope for the animation to pop off from the goalie. Like, that's the most important thing, right, too. But he did it right there, so it's perfect. A lot of pass. A little driven pass. Nice. Yep, under pressure does really well there. That's all I need in this life. You see, like, when I make that small movement, how he makes that run right away? That's what I like to see, bro. That's what I like to see, bro. I'm telling you, like, that, that authentic football that you can kind of play with him is sick, you know? Like... I make a small little dribble, he'll go into that space. I made a small dribble up there in that one little moment, right? And you can see, boom, like that angled run that he's making right away. Because right now I'm playing in a 4-3-3 and it's just like him on balance, right? Balance center mid. That's how you would play him in like a 4-3-2-1 and stuff as well. And uh, yeah, no, he's been really nice. Look, he contextually did the finesse on that one because I don't, I don't even think I did the actual R1 on that one. Oh, I shouldn't have passed it. The shot cancel was amazing there. Well done, Modric. Commentation. Look at that build. I'll play with him, bro. Oh. Yeah, he makes those angled runs. It's amazing. He even made the run there if I actually, like, got the right skill moves and stuff off there. That was a good pass. That was a little bit late there on my part. So you see when you pass and he's like really explosive afterwards, I love players that do that, man. That's what it is, bro. And that's like the typical meta thing. Like you just pass so that your AI doesn't like track you after the shot, you know, but it works out there, man. Nice. I'm going to just rush right here. Typical meta, ball roll into a driven. Oh, he did that animation. He has a swipe at it. If he doesn't, it's cooked. But the build on man, sick. Really sick. Nice, Modric. That's what I like to see, my boy. Oh, I did a ball roll scoop, but sure. Thanks, EA. Good effort. He is smaller, right? So he's not gonna get it like some of the tall guys would. Oh, let's go. Go back. There you go. Oh, thank goodness. Bro, Tony Kroos with Modric together is so sick. They're good. They're, they're so good. Like, the buildup is just nice. That's not the type of pass I wanted, but sure. Oh, man. 
was good though, it was good. Oh, you overcommitted too much, Kaka. My boy Modric though. Please, thank you. You know why I do that? Because I don't know if he's going to use manual goalkeeping, so I have to shot cancel and then push that ball. Score that opportunity. That's what I like to see. Beauty. Beauty, beauty, beauty. I'd go in because it deserves. Yeah, it deserves. I get that nice cut inside and stuff. Come on, bro. Like, I'm taking that. I'm taking that. That's a sick goal. Like a good little pass there, you know? Oh, look at that positioning, though. Okay, guys. So, final verdict on the Modric SBC. So, yeah, we've kind of gotten to a point where, like, hopefully when EA starts to release cards, they're actually cards that are meta, not cards that feel outdated, right? Uh, this Modric is really good. Really good SBC for 450k, 100%. Um, he just has everything that you need to essentially play him in the role that I feel like he should be played in. Now, technically speaking, some people could, you know, use him as a cam if they really wanted to. I think this card definitely plays his best football in a role where he's like a center mid that can do whatever he wants and also going to be as one of two CDMs, one of two center mids, again, allowing him to do whatever he wants. Now, don't get me wrong. You could totally use this card on the stay back cover center for sure. It depends on, you know, the instructions that you have in other areas of the pitch. But the thing about this card is that he just feels very, very well rounded in that midfield position, right? Like the authentic football that you can play with this guy because the way that he sees the pitch when he's being played as a roaming center mid that can do whatever he want, uh, wants, it's amazing, right? So, yeah, SBC is definitely a W. If you guys did the season objective and you have Tony Kroos in your team, like I was using Tony Kroos, Modric, and Bellingham, and they're so perfect for like a 4-3-3 because Bellingham I keep on stay back cover center because I like him in that way. And then Modric was the attacking one. I'm going to be doing a review for this 4-3-3 that someone sent me. It's really good. Um, but yeah, he was like the attacking center mid and he was doing a fantastic job. Now, obviously meta wise, some people prefer to have like the taller players. Like if you guys watch like Anders' team, he has like bullets and stuff because the tall guys always make that difference for like the intercept plus or whatever. But I'm telling you guys that if you play him in the specific way that I'm telling you, he is a very, very good SBC. The five star, five star capabilities for this card is going to be fantastic to work with. WSBC, W card. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. With this 433 is cooking, man. Like, we we initially had this account at like 570 something because my boy, obviously, this is his account, right? So he's playing on it. And we were just doing the thing with Modric, man. We were just, it was, it was sick. It was really, really cool to play with. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I will catch you guys for the Kaka review next. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.